Hi, welcome. Using remote states in Terraform is a great way to share details about infrastructure resources across different individual Terraform configurations. For example, you could create some resources under one workspace, then send the details for those resources to the Terraform outputs. Then, in another workspace, you can consume the state of that first workspace and use those details from the outputs to build more resources. I'm going to show you that exact scenario in action, so let's jump in. In Terraform Cloud here, I have two workspaces I'm going to use for this demo. The first workspace is going to be used to create a couple of resource groups in Azure. Then, the next workspace is going to get those inputs from those resource groups and put some storage accounts in them. Okay, let's start with the resource groups workspace. Now, click on Settings and then click General. Under General Settings, scroll down until you find the Remote State Sharing. Here, there are two options. The first option is to share with specific workspaces. Clicking the drop-down should give you a list of workspaces available in your organization. The second option is to share with all workspaces in this organization. This will open up the state to all workspaces in the current organization. This could be less secure, however, since you may not want all workspaces to see the state for this workspace. For this demo, I'm going to select a specific workspace to share with. And from the list, I'm going to select the Storage Account Demo workspace. Now that that's done, click Save Settings. All right, now let's go back to the overview page. I've already applied this workspace configuration. We can see that two resources were created, and there were also two outputs being exposed by this workspace, RG Central 01 and RG East 01. The results from this run are also in my terminal under VS Code. You can see up above that I'm specifying two resource groups, and below, for each resource group, this configuration is outputting the ID, name, and location. Now I'm going to switch over to the storage accounts configuration. Here, I'm using a Terraform remote state data source, which is going to pull the remote state for me. The Terraform remote state data source is going to need a couple of things. First, we need to specify the back end. This can be either remote or local. I'm using remote since the state that I'm referencing exists out in Terraform Cloud. Next is the config block. In this block, we need to specify the organization we're targeting and the name of the workspace that has the state we're going to be referencing. In this case, demo resource groups. Now, just running this alone won't do much that we can see. So when I'm exploring the remote state, I like to output the entire data source so I can see what I'm working with. So here, I have an output called remote state that is simply going to output the entire data source from above. And since this directory has already been initialized, I'm going to run a plan. Now let's take a look at what we've got here in the plan outputs. Under my remote state output, I can see some of the configuration and details of this remote state, but what I really need is the outputs. These are the details we're going to need for the next step. Now I've added a storage account resource here. This storage account is going to be using the remote state to fill in the resource group name and location. Right now, those attributes are blank. So how do we get the information from the remote state into this resource? It's the same way you would reference any other data source. So let's start putting the path to the data lookup. All right, I've got the path to my data source here under resource group name. And if you look at the terminal below, we can see that the outputs we need are under, you guessed it, outputs. So let's add that. Next, I need to specify which output I'm looking for. I'm going to use the East US resource group for this, so RG East 01. Then finally, I need the value I'm looking for, which is the name of the resource group. Okay, now I just need to do the same thing for location.
Now I just need to save this file and run a new plan. Okay, if I take a look at the outputs, I can see that my storage account should be using a resource group name of RG East 01 and a location of East US 2. Let's scroll up to confirm. I've scrolled up to the details for my storage account, and as you can see here, the location is East US 2 and the resource group name is RG East 01. Now there is also an alternative to using the Terraform remote state data source if you only need to access a workspace's outputs and you don't want to give access to its state. It's called TFE outputs. TFE outputs can be used to retrieve just the outputs from a given workspace. I'll be putting together a TFE outputs video next and I'll make sure to add that link to the description below. So make sure to check it out. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.